And welcome to my way too early 2021 NFL Draft Preview. I am Andrew Wilbar. For the next couple minutes, we're going to be looking at the top prospects in the 2021 NFL Draft. It is never too early. I've started watching a little bit of film on a few of the prospects. So we're going to start right off the top at quarterback. Most people's number one, Trevor Lawrence. I have him in my way too early mock draft going to the Jacksonville Jaguars number one overall. A lot of people are saying he is the best quarterback coming out since Andrew Luck. I am not as high on him as some people are. He's still my number one quarterback, but I have Justin Fields right there. I have Trevor Lawrence as my number two player on my board, and Justin Fields at number three. Fields had a phenomenal year last year, plus he has a lot of returning starters with Thayer Munford and Wyatt Davis on the offensive line. Um, and then you have Chris Olave at wide receiver. He still has some weapons there. Um, he has a couple tight ends, Jeremy Ruckert. Uh, they have weapons and so, really, so does Trevor Lawrence at Clemson. Jackson Carmen, an offensive tackle who could be a first-round pick. Uh, Justin Ross, a wide receiver who could be a first-round pick. They are both uh, coming back. And so he still has some pieces to work with, too. But Lawrence did not impress me last year at all times. He's good throwing the ball deep in certain areas of the field. He's good throwing down the hashes and stuff. If he has something to aim at, he does well. But he he's going to have to learn to quit aiming as much. That's something that I'm seeing a little bit too much that he's not going to be able to do at the next level. Um, and the wider, and they're not running advanced NFL routes at Clemson or anything. Uh, but it's just a minor concern. I think he'll be fine. Uh, but I do like Justin Fields. I think he could uh, supplant Trevor Lawrence as the number one overall player. Well, the number one player on my board is not a quarterback. It is the offensive tackle from Oregon, Penny Sewell. I really like this guy. He is a mauler in the run game. He is nearly flawless in pass protection. Just go and watch the tape. It is amazing. Uh, if he, in, barring any injury or anything, I think he's a top five pick next year. And this is a loaded offensive tackle class, by the way. Um, you have a lot of guys that are going to be late first, early second round picks that could be franchise left tackles. Samuel Cosme, um, Walker Little, if he can stay healthy, he could be a top 10 pick. Um, you have Jackson Carmen, like we already said, Liam Eichenberg from Notre Dame. Uh, you have um, the offensive tackle from Kentucky, Landon Young, Abraham Lucas from Washington State, Jalen Mayfield from Michigan. Um, and I know there's others that I'm forgetting not right now. You know, it is a really good offensive tackle class. Um, Alaric Jackson from Iowa is another one. Uh, so it's there's it's a deep class, but Penny Sewell is head and shoulders above everyone else. He is a beast, the best offensive tackle prospect I've seen come out in quite a while. Uh, but the offensive tackle, another guy to keep an eye on is Daniel Filele. I wrote something upon him at behindthesteelcurtain.com slash fan post. You can go check it out. Six foot nine, four hundred pounds, people. And we thought Makai Becton was a big prospect this year. Uh, uh Lele, however you pronounce his name. Uh, he has him beat. Um, and you watch him on tape, he has good mobility. His technique, he's still learning the position some, so he's still a little bit raw. Uh, but he has all the talent you want. And he's a guy that could skyrocket up boards right now, probably in that second to third round range if he does declare early this year. Uh, he's a guy as a Steelers fan that I'm keeping an eye on. Matt Filer may not return. He's contracts up at the end of this year. Steelers also have a need at left tackle. Alejandro Villanueva is getting older and did not play well last year. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, some of the other prospects you want to keep an eye on early on, the tight ends. My number one tight end is Pat Fryermuth from Penn State. This guy seriously has a chance of being the next Gronk. He's a great run blocker. He does need a little bit uh, – he needs to improve a little bit as a finisher and as a run blocker. Uh, but I think he will improve in that category in 2020. He's a very good receiver, good route runner, good speed, good hands, uh, very dynamic playmaker. Uh, Brevin Jordan from Miami is a guy to watch. Kyle Pitts from Florida. Those are very speedy, more today's modern day uh, NFL tight ends that you can line up in the slot, line out even out wide, um, and they can create mismatches. On the defensive side of the ball, uh, you have Gregory Rousseau, who I haven't been super impressed with from what I've seen yet, uh, but he has racked up a lot of sacks at Miami, and he has a, a lot of potential. Still a little bit raw, though. Uh, the nose tackle class is actually solid. Uh, Tyler Shelvin could be a first-round pick uh, if he can produce something as a pass rusher. Jordan Davis is a guy to keep an eye on. 
Uh, outside linebacker. The outside linebacker class is also really good. Hamilcar Rashad. Um, Aziz Ojolare is a guy. Uh, watch the tape against Tennessee. He was really good. He showed excellent bend around the edge. Good speed. Um, really intriguing player. Very young, uh, but he's come off some knee injuries. Uh, but uh, he looked really good at the end of last year. Um, inside linebacker Quay Walker is a guy to watch from Georgia. Uh, the t guy at the top, though, is Micah Parsons, who could be a top five pick. Uh, he's a do it all guy. Uh, he's as good size, good length, good speed, um, pretty fluid in coverage as well. Um, I think PFF had him as like the highest uh, graded run blocker for an inside linebacker last year. Uh, so we got that covered. Now to the defensive secondary. Uh, corner class looks to be solid of right now. Uh, Israel Mukwamu is a guy that could rise boards. Uh, six foot four corner from South Carolina. The two guys at the top right now are Patrick Sertain from Alabama. Uh, can play multiple different coverages. Not super physical corner, but he does have decent size. Um, and then Sean Wade, the outstanding slot corner from Ohio State. He also has the versatility to play on the outside at the next level. And then safety. Safety class is intriguing. Uh, you don't have... A, top-notch player yet. Javon Holland, a lot of people think, is going to break out this year. Some could ar You could argue that he already has broken out. But let's see what he does this year. Um, you also have Caden Stearns from Texas, who's a ball hawk playmaker. Uh, Hamza Nasraldine, a guy that I really like. Um, almost a poor man's Isaiah Simmons in some ways. Uh, he has good speed, good length. Six foot four, two fifteen. Uh, if he bulks up a little bit, he can go and play linebacker. Uh, but he'll probably stay at safety for uh, the NFL. Um, and then you also have guys like Paris Ford, uh, guys that could jump on the scene later. It's a really good free safety class. Strong safety. We're not quite there yet. Jacoby Stevens from LSU is a guy to watch. Um, and I haven't gotten into the special teamers. I haven't gotten into any kickers, punters yet. So forget that. But that's a quick rundown of some of the top players you'll want to watch uh, in the 2021 NFL Draft. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully we'll see you soon.